Um, if you snore or if you share the bed with someone who does, you might have felt a little cranky after waking up this morning. But the problem isn't just the noise. 18 million Americans have sleep apnea. It's a condition that causes people to stop breathing over and over again during sleep. But as the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin tells us, there's now a new treatment option. The gentleman you're about to meet, Tom Wurzbach, fit all the requirements for this device. He had pretty severe sleep apnea, he wasn't overweight, and he had tried and failed to get relief from a breathing machine known as a CPAP. But he says this implant put an end to his snoring and his exhaustion. At 73, Tom Wurzbach worried he was losing his edge. He was tired all the time. I just thought I was getting older. <laughs> I was going to be running out of gas soon. And Wurzbach snored loudly, much to the dismay of his wife, Susie. We had to sleep apart because it was driving her crazy. It wasn't just that. Wurzbach also had obstructive sleep apnea. Dozens of times an hour during sleep, he'd stop breathing. He had two surgeries and wore one of these CPAP masks at night to try to force open his airway. Couldn't keep it on during the night and it just, it was uncomfortable. So Wurzbach's physician sent him to Dr. Raj Dedia, director of sleep surgery at Emory Sleep Center. He was a candidate for a newer treatment option, the Inspire Upper Airway Stimulation System that Dr. Dedia says is like an implantable pacemaker for your tongue. It's not a defibrillator. People think that when they're having an event, it shocks them. It doesn't shock them, it just paces them. So every time they breathe in, tongue comes out. Wurzbach would need surgery, but he was okay with that. I had to get some rest, and I knew it. So Dr. Dedia implanted a pulse generator like this under the skin near Wurzbach's right collarbone, attaching leads that would sense when he breathes in and then deliver mild stimulation to push his tongue forward and clear his airway. In people with sleep apnea, the problem is the throat becomes too collapsible and things want to fall back into the airway. And what this is doing is providing gentle stimulation, or the way I describe it, it restores our natural tone while we're awake to keep the tongue out of the airway. You don't feel it. You really don't. It's uh, so low a voltage. Now you know the tongue is moving because you can't talk anymore. And Tom Wurzbach says the device has changed everything. I had no idea how much I was missing out on just by not being able to breathe at night. Now this implant isn't for everyone. It's designed for people with moderate to severe sleep apnea, a body mass index of 32 or lower, and those who have tried and failed to get relief from a CPAP. Tom uses a remote to control the device and turn it on and off, and he has trouble falling asleep, so he puts it on a 45 minute delay that gives him a little cushion time once he goes to bed. For the Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin. Chief